Hello homeowners, today we're gonna to talk about how to repair a, an extension cord or even an appliance cord. It could be an extension cord or an appliance cord. And you can see this one is cut and you can see some of the, the wire inside, right? So this isn't safe. We don't wanna just tape it up because we don't know if there's the potential that maybe two of the wires are cut and they could be touching each other, which you don't want. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to take this apart and put it together the right way. Now, there's multi there are multiple ways to do this. I'm gonna show you an acceptable way, and I'm gonna also show you what I believe is the best way to do it, to make sure you've got a solid and sturdy and safe connection forever. Uh, the other thing is, is it's gonna depend on whether the cut is very close to the male end or the female end, or whether it's kinda in the middle that gives you multiple options and how to fix it. We're gonna go through all of them right now. We are here at the workbench, and um, now where the cut is here, it's about, it looks like it's about two and a half feet away from the end of the, the male end, okay? So you've got two choices because it's not that far from here, but if, depending on whether you want to pres preserve the length of this overall cord or not. Now, um, one easy way to do this would be to purchase one of these here this is you can get this at your local home improvement store and i'm also going to link to these down in the uh, description but this is made for uh, the replacement of this piece here the the male end of an extension cord or, an, or it's made for also an appliance cord where some of the appliances don't give you the plug and they just have a bare wire okay uh, they make these in different sizes because this thing can open up to various sizes to fit the cord and the insulation jacket. What you would do is you would take, well, you don't have to take this side off. You take off this piece right here. I'm going to do it. Okay. And we're going to feed the cord first through here. You feed the bare end of the cord through here. It comes out. And then we're going to, um, we're going to wire this up accordingly. I'm going to get I'm going to tell you exactly which one is which here. Okay, so we're going to run the cord through. And if you notice, a couple of things. One, uh, I've already stripped these, so you didn't have to watch me do that on camera. And we've got the black, which is the hot wire. We've got the neutral white, and we've got the ground here. Okay? The other thing is, is you see these are short. And the reason it's short is because when... You, when this thing gets wired in, it's going to go push. It's going to be pushed in here. You do not want to have those bare wires or those inner jackets exposed here. You want the outer to be clamped down. So this cannot be too long, otherwise it it won't fit. Okay. So now we're going to take this piece, and you know what? This one <laughs> that I bought for this purpose is not. It's for an appliance. Not even for this for a regular outlet, but that's fine. I'm showing you exa exactly how we're going to do this. Okay, so put this through because you don't want to forget it. If you forget to do this, then you're going to have to undo it and do it all over again. Okay, we're going to go to the, um, we're going to go to the, let's take the power first. That's going to be this one. I probably should have something to hold it. Okay, now if you can see, I slid it inside there and all we need to do is tighten down on it so it does not come out. You don't, you're not wrapping it around the screw inside like you may do with some of those outlets that you may have done before. I'm going to tighten this very well. And you would tighten it. Sorry, I was off camera. So you just got to check inside. Sometimes there's little grooves where the thing goes only in one way. Okay, and you tighten it down. And then you tighten it down here. So that way, you, if you anybody decides to pull on the cord to unplug it, all of the stress is going to go at this point right here. 
not on the wires that you just installed, okay? So that's how you would do it if, again, this one, if the cut was near the male end, and this one is if it was near the female end, it gets wired the same way. All right, now let's attack this one here with the cut in the middle. And because this is what happens most of the time, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna fix this one. For reasons to be explained in a moment, I'm gonna just try to strip this back um, right around here and here, okay? Because I'm gonna use a shrink wrap. All right, so if I'm using this shrink wrap, I do not want to strip it too far over because it needs to it needs to wrap, right? So I'm gonna maybe I get myself a marker. I'm gonna put a little mark right around here and then right around here. Okay. And then now yeah, I want to go in a little bit farther. Just in case. So what I want to do is I want to get this thing off and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to lightly score this but if I bend it like that and I'm barely touching it I'm not cutting okay I'm just going like this take a let me see if I can get the make sure the light is there it's very, very light, and because, I'm, because I am bending it, it's pr creating that pressure to stretch open. There we go, just heard it snap a little bit, and that's just the outer casing, okay? And here's where the other one was. It came off of my fingers already. be inclined to do is just cut it in the middle right and then you would be basically splicing everything right in the center I do not want to do that because I do not want to end up with a big lump here because you've got three wires at the same spot stripped and then uh, spliced together creating a big you know, gathering or lump of wire and electrical tape or whatever it is you're using, okay? So, we're not gonna do that way. Now I'm gonna bend it the other, I wanna take this jacket off and leave the, everything exposed in the middle. Okay, may have been off camera, I apologize. So, these are 12-3 wires, these are 12 gauge, which you don't normally get, and they're very expensive if you were to buy them at your local home improvement store right now. So I'm fortunate to have extension cords that are um, of this quality, okay? And the truth is, is I ruined it just to make this video for you guys. Okay, so here's why I did this. This is where the cut is. It's only impacting this wire. So for this wire, this one, we are going to cut it right in the middle. Right where that spot is, okay? Now for the others, I'm gonna cut it offset. One I'll cut right, over, right around here, and one I'll cut right around here, all right? And, um, that way the splices are not 
right on top of each other. You got one in the middle, one off this way, one off this way. Now I'm gonna strip all of these. All right, so, so now you see what we have going on here, right? Okay, now a couple of things. We could, what some of you may be inclined to do, which I've done many times before, is twist these together, bend them over, and then put electrical tape, which you can do. They're not as strong like this if you do it, but you can do it. Now, if you are going to do it, I would do the, uh, the load first, right? And then, which, which you see I have here, is this is wider electrical tape. So you could almost get this really without having to, to go like this and, and go all the way across with a, with a skinnier one. You put this together, and then you can get a couple passes with this. And then, what I would do is then I would splice the next one, which is here, and then with the electrical tape not cut, you then continue, now you're wrapping that one. So, yeah, I kept them short for my, my, my real way to, my real method here. But basically what you be, you're gonna be doing is like this. You go around a couple of times, splice the next one, go around a couple of times, and then the third one, and then you do it, and then you can continue to wrap like that. So that's how you would encase it really all with one piece. It helps keep it together a little better. But like I said, that's not how we're, that's not the goal of how we're going to do this one this time. So what we're going to do is we are going to use solder and shrink wrap. So I showed you this shrink wrap first. Before you do anything, you gotta get this. If you forget to put this on there, you're gonna kill yourself later because then you gotta undo everything or you're not gonna use shrink wrap. You're gonna end up using all of that electrical tape. Okay, then you need shrink wrap for these pieces too. You have a brand new box of shrink wraps. This is really cool. This is my second box now, all different sizes, and maybe I will put a link in the description where I got this too. It was not expensive and it's really handy. So what you want to get is one that is not too small but not too large either. You want it to be large enough to be able to deal with the, um, the splice that you're making, okay? And then... Uh, but not too tight because we're going to be soldering this and you want this thing to be able to stretch over the solder. Okay, let me see if you can see this. These are stranded wires, right? So I'm going to separate them just slightly and I want them to kind of go together like this. All right, so that's what I'm doing. And then just twist them a little bit you don't want to have any of them, you know, exposed a little bit. Okay, let's get the next one and we will have to remember to put the uh, the shrink wrap through.
this shrink wrap is going to be a little thicker or wider because this wire is bigger. Get this shrink tube over these guys the best that we can. This one, this one here shrunk up a bit when we had the soldering iron, so unfortunately, I am going to have to use some uh, electrical tape on this. And I've got my heat gun, I think this is a, yeah, it's a Black & Decker 30 years ago at a garage sale, $1. Can't beat it, it's been, I've been using it ever since. All right, that shrunk up. Now we'll just take the electrical tape and uh, let me show you how I do this. It'll be really easy. Because remember, we're going to have another piece of shrink wrap around it, right? So, you don't need much here. And I don't want to be spending too much time winding it up. So, I'm going to go around first this wire once. Right, and then around the whole thing. I was planning not to use any of that, but wasn't keeping my eye on the uh, on the other shrink wrap. So here we go, and let's watch this happen now. So how do you like that method? Hit that like button if you thought this was an effective one. Yes, you could just use the, uh, the electrical tape, strip it a little longer, twist it together, bend it, whatever it is that you like to do. Even wire nuts if you felt like doing that, but this thing is not gonna come apart. Those solder joints are bulletproof and uh, you know will not come apart and you should not have any issues, especially with each one of them with a shrink wrap like that, all separated. This thing's still hot. I appreciate you watching, everyone. And if you want more home DIY videos or have something you want me to do for you on video, just let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you've ever done this before yourself. Talk to you later, everyone. Have a good day.